Hey guys, thanks for watching TFB TV. I am Joel here at SHOT Show 2020. I am here with Chris and we are at the Athena Rifle Systems booth. He's got something pretty unique, guys. I've never seen it. I've been in Precision Rifle for a long time and uh, he's going to tell us all about it. Hopefully you enjoy this as much as I did. Hey Joel, thanks for coming down to the Drake Associates booth. The Athena Rifle is the coolest thing now to market. What we've done is we've taken technology from the bolt action rifles that we've worked on. For example, we worked on the Savage Stealth and Stealth Evolution rifles. We took our know-how from a chassis rifle system and we actually implemented that technology on the AR-15 and AR-10s. What we're doing is we're locking the receiver set into our bolt action uh, or a chassis system similar to a bolt action uh, rifle chassis and that isolates the barrel it isolates the gas system, it isolates the uh, gas block or anything, even the barrel nut, from making any contact with the chassis whatsoever. We have a quick release here that actually sh you could show, I'll just show, I got a suppressor cover on there, yep. but it'll actually show that barrel nut totally, totally free floated. Nothing makes contact with it. So we were able to really get some great accuracy out of this platform by isolating that receiver just like a bolt action rifle does, and we're able to do it in a semi-automatic. There's a lot of cool features on this gun, and I'll just talk a little bit about it. But we have a really wide fore and flat surface for shooting off a pack. We want to make sure that it's a multidisciplinary gun. Hunters, um, competition shooters, law enforcement, military, guys that like to shoot off rucks are able to shoot with a super wide fore end uh, footprint. We have a couple other cool features on the gun. We have a Picatinny rail that's below, I call it below the waterline because it doesn't protrude underneath the, uh, underneath the rifle itself. So if you are shooting off the pack or getting out of a, a vehicle or something, that Picatinny rail is not going to catch on those materials. A couple cool features about the gun, then we'll come back to the accuracy. We've built a barricade stop well ahead of the magazine. We thought that's important for PRS shooters that are getting up on a rifle using a barricade stop, and, they don't, and we don't want it to hit the magazine. Speaking about the magazine, um, having instructed um, all different people, <laughs> we see from law enforcement standpoint, guys will grab the magazine and it just drives me nuts. So we put a relief cut in here where the weight of the weapon will actually be taken off and forward the magazine should the guy grab it. Uh, the, the firearm itself, the, the Athena rifle, is right now in 5.56 five, and 224 Valkyrie. But what we've seen in accuracy is we've done some really cool testing. And what we've done is taken our upper receiver with our barrel nut, we slid a commercial free float tube on, which is common to industry, it's one of those that are over there. We um, put the rifle on a Colt 6920 law enforcement gun. We took our trigger grip out, put it in the Colt. We put a pistol grip on it, the same pistol grip, the same buttstock. And we took this upper receiver with this scope and shot it for record. We shot out of a test sled. We shot multiple, multiple, multiple groups on that to get an average of what that gun did. And in the Colt configuration or the commercial configuration, it shot a 1.4 MOA score, which is kind of, it's good for a gas gun. Yeah with the best groups yielding 0.7 MOA. So, pretty acceptable. We then took this upper receiver out of the Colt, took the free float, what people call a free float tube out, and dropped it in the Athena chassis. Bedded it back in the chassis, put that into the test sled, shot that for score. It dropped the score from 1.4 MOA down to 0.7 MOA, yielding groups at 0.3, being the best groups at 0.3. It was about a 48% accuracy increase by going to the chassis system. Also, we did this, and we're using a button cut barrel. We also repeated the test with a cut rifle barrel, and the gun, when we put it back in the chassis, was showing a nice even 0.6 MOA. It was a 0.6 MOA with the best group yielded at 0.186 MOA. So we've shot some really tight, amazing groups. So we're getting like similar bolt action accuracy out of a uh, chassis uh, semi-automatic rifle. Yeah, just, a, just a bunch of really cool stuff. Uh, we spent a lot of time on trigger selection. We have a trigger that's OEM to us, specific to our requirement. It's a really nice match trigger. Uh, we spent a lot of time just really refining the components. And then what we did was we always, always, always test. We use now test protocol sleds like the Ransom International Rest, which basically takes a shooter out. So we've done some other testing. Guys have said, hey, look, I want to test a hammer forge barrel in the system. I want to test a hammer forge upper. Show me what, it, what it's going to do. So we take that commercial gun, we put it in the test sled, we'll shoot it for score. And I typically a hammer forge barrel shoot like anywhere between a minute and a half to two and a half minutes. And then we'll put it, you know, varying lots of ammunition. Then we'll put it in our chassis and re-replicate the same test. Mm -hmm. And every time we've done it, we've always seen a significant accuracy shift. Um, 
close to 40% every time. So that's a really cool thing. A lot of guys ask us, are we just going to sell the chassis only? I'd rather sell the complete rifle so when it leaves our facility, our, our facility, we know that that rifle went out the gate, tested, shooting the groups it's supposed to be shooting, and we can control that. And we thought that was very important. Makes sense. And uh, we were very also very price driven on the rifle. We see a go to market price at uh, the SHOT Show here at, for the base rifle at 1776, which gives you the chassis system, the SOP Mod D uh, four end system, uh, match barrel, match trigger group. And it's coming in at a price of 1776, which is really a uh, pretty aggressive price to market. It is very competitive, yeah. And, um, and when do you suppose these will be available? These are available um, now. They should start shipping within the next three months. That's awesome. If anybody wants to see what we're doing, feel free to reach out to us at drakeassociates.us. You can give us a call at 631-905-1217. Uh, we're located in Vero Beach, Florida. If anybody's in the area, give us a call. I mean, we're more than happy to, hey, come check out the platform. Or if you're at SHOT Show today or tomorrow, come see us here at booth 31007. And I'll just throw this at you to end it with and then I'll close it out. I'd love to see you do something with the M14. That would be cool. That would be cool. If somebody could make that thing crazy accurate, I would love you for it. <laughs> All so right. would everybody else. Right on, guys. Thanks for watching uh, SHOT Show 2020 coverage, TFB TV. Uh, stay tuned for more great videos.